also known as Resell to Ride. Welcome back. Appreciate you being here today. We are in my game room filming this intro. I thought I'd give you guys a little sneak peek of what my game room looks like. Um, so eventually I'll give you a little bit more of a tour once it's a little more put together. It is still in process. but So today's video is some old footage from when I very first thought I think I'm going to be a YouTuber. Uh, this is well over a year ago. So this, uh, this footage is shot from my cell phone and improperly shot in the vertical format, which would be perfect for shorts now, but, uh, or for TikTok, but, um, you know, I thought I was doing my thing. I was so excited and I, I look back and see this footage and go, huh, why did I do that? But it is what it is. So this footage is from the Goodwill Bins outlet in Ridgeland, Mississippi. I was on a trip there and uh, my sister was with me, but it's a good overview of what this location looks like. It is a very small location compared to what I'm used to. Um, probably about a quarter of the size of what we have here in Oklahoma. Um, they had one bin of media, one bin of household goods, both maybe half full, not very much at all. The rest of it was all clothing and tons of clothing, but all in all, they probably had like 20 bins total. Um, so I hope you guys will enjoy this footage. Uh, give me a little grace on the bad filming. I tried, but uh, I definitely wanted to share this with you guys because it was fun for me to go back and watch it. So I hope you enjoy it. A quick look at the price guide, $1.99 for everything in the blue bins, except for electronics, which are $1.50 a pound up to $10 and books and glassware were 25 cents a pound. And here's a view of the store from the very back corner so you can see how small it actually is. Here you'll see me picking up this Power Rangers VHS. I got this for my booth. Uh, I knew that I could make uh, three to four dollars off of it pretty easily there. That was my sister you heard there. She likes to pick up books at the bins because they're so cheap and her kids love to read so she's saying she needs to get rid of a few to make room for what she's buying this day. There really wasn't much to see here in the housewares bin that they had so I ended up just giving up and moving on over to clothing. This Florida Gators t-shirt is something that I would pick up today because I know I can make $8 to $12 pretty easy on eBay. I don't know if you guys caught that. That lady was telling her friend that she knows how old she is. She was there when she was born. <laughs> These little shorts, if you'll notice, are made by Amethyst. Amethyst is a pretty decent brand of jeans, and even though those are children's size, they can still sell for $12 to $15, no problem.
Here's a nice long skirt. It's very well made. It's made by the brand Eagle Eye. I did end up purchasing this. However, I am not sure what I did with it. All right, here's a quick look at their rotation. They kick everybody out and they pull all the bins out and replace them with fresh bins. Someone donated a family portrait t-shirt. That's pretty harsh. Wait a minute, I know we saw these jeans earlier. Uh, and here's the Amethyst Kids shorts. How did that happen? But here's something interesting. Uh, this is very nicely made. Uh, the tag says it's in the bag. Um, it's woven kind of like a blanket would be. Um, I did buy this. It's in my garage still. Um, I never was really truly sure what to do with it, but I'm thinking with the Native American culture that we have here in Oklahoma, um, it should be a perfect fit at my antique booth, so I think that's what I'm going to do with it. If you know any information about this, if it's something that you recognize, please let me know because I would like to know more about it. This here is probably my find of the day. It is a vintage denim jacket with the liner made by the brand SOS. If you know anything about this brand, please let me know. Okay. I'm definitely getting that. Look at the belt. I just pick that up and put it down. Like... <laughs> Oh, what's that? Oh, a hanger. Ooh. Some Bugle Boy. Bugle Boy is out. 3831. Oh, shoot, I can wear those. Let's see. Mm. 
staining. We're gonna skip those. Only at the bins. I'm not sure why I didn't pick up these jeans. They are made by the brand Machine, which based on eBay comps, you're looking at 15 to $25. Uh, I think the distress on these is pretty cool and probably would have helped them sell a lot quicker. I did buy both of these little cups. I'm pretty sure they're for sake. I put them in my booth and I think I made five or six dollars a piece off of them. Here's a quick look at my basket before I pared it down. It was quite the haul that day. Can't complain. All right, guys, what'd you think? Was that the smallest Goodwill bins you've ever seen? It definitely was for me. Uh, if you would, leave me a comment down below and let me know uh, what kind of things did you see that I completely missed? I definitely am curious. What, what did my eyes not see? Um, I'm still learning a lot. Uh, I think this is, uh, reselling is a business that is one of those things that you're just gonna learn and learn and learn and learn. There are no experts, there are people with tons of knowledge. Um, so if there's something that I just completely missed, please let me know. Um, and if you would, if you're not currently subscribed, if you would please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get more content like this. We've got some awesome estate sales coming up. Uh, we've got some more bins footage coming up. So uh, if you would, uh, hit that notification bell, like this video, and share it with your friends. Anyone who you think is interested in reselling, um, I would like to hopefully become friends with you guys through YouTube and so we can learn and grow with each other. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye guys.